Hey, John Hickok here again. I've got the old uh, Mossberg 500 out. Dad bought me this gun uh, from, I let's see, I guess it would have been my 27th birthday, this past this past one. And uh, it's just a really cool gun. He knows I love these old shotguns that have, you know, the, the old classic wood and, and stuff like that. It's not really uh, a primary home defense gun. It's more kind of a, you know, a collectible kind of thing in a way. It's something just to have around. I um, actually, this is, it's not my primary home defense gun, but I keep it in a, in a separate area in my house where it's kind of like a, if I happen to be in there or something and need a shotgun, you know, it's one of those. I'm sure you guys have those in your house. Um, but just a cool gun. I mean, it's just really neat. Um, I've always liked these. You guys may have seen my old 870, which is actually the first gun I ever purchased myself. I already had a bunch of guns, but it was the first one I ever actually bought with my own money. And uh, that, that's a neat gun, and this is basically the Mossberg version of it. And it's, it's just really cool. That's basically all I'm here to tell you guys. This is a cool gun, and it shoots. But uh, I uh, also appreciate um, the help from SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Check them out, sdi.edu. If, if you're want to, if you interested in uh, being a gunsmith or anything like that, check them out. Also, uh, Federal Premium, um, really appreciate their help. Great ammo. Um, really, really helps out a lot. So you guys want to see something that's maybe cool, but definitely not practical? Okay, Let's see if it'll do it. It's one neat thing about these old loose, loose guns like that is you just hit the release, you know, <laughs> and it hit the works the action. It's kind of neat. I don't know, not ideal probably, but kind of cool um, for those of you who don't know um, the differences between uh, like the, the Mossberg 500 and the 870 some of the big ones of course is the uh, safety uh, the kind of the ambi safety thumb safety up, up top here on the receiver and then the release slide releases in a different spot on the 870 it's up here I actually um, I've kind of gotten to where I like the Mossberg way of doing things a little better than the 870. I always, I still kind of have a special place in my heart for 870s just because you've got this, the uh, steel receiver and they just, I don't know, they just seem like a very a neat classic gun and um, I don't know, I've just always really liked them. But as far as actual use, I don't know, I, this, this little button is a little handier uh, to grab and it's just easier, I don't know, it's easier to not forget where it is and stuff. And the safety is pretty cool. It's just very obvious. You can see it right there. So I like that. And you know, if you do some reading around online, you find that you know most people have found that the uh, alloy receiver is not really a, a problem because you still have steel locking up against steel in there. So the uh, 870 might be a little bit overkill in that regard, but it's still neat. Put some more field loads in there. Shotguns are fun. I mean, especially with 22 long rifle ammo getting scarce and uh, more expensive. You kind of used to. It used to be at least that's when I wanted to just go out and then have some cheap fun shooting. I'd buy the ton of bricks of 22, go out and blast like a thousand rounds of it. Uh, but it's not really as practical as far as if you're just trying to shoot a bunch of rounds and save a lot of money as it used to be. Because with shooting, for me, it's like a there's like a cost fun kind of equation you know what i mean like like firing one 22 long rifle is not as fun to me as firing one nine millimeter but if i can fire a bunch of 22s for the price of one nine millimeter then maybe that's more fun or close to it but as 22 has gone up it's almost to the point where i just might as well just buy a nine millimeter and shotgun ammo that the like the uh the field loads you buy at walmart or wherever um they've gotten cheap enough to the point where it's almost like buying nine millimeter. And to me, uh, shooting a shotgun is a lot of fun for uh, the amount of money you're putting into each shot. You get a lot of fun because it's a big, powerful round, you know, and they're not that expensive to produce compared to something else that would give you that kind of recoil, like to say a 308 or something like that. So it's kind of neat. Yep. That's the thing with pump shotguns, you gotta bring it all the way back. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, of course, that's another age-old argument, pump versus semi. Um, I mean, it just depends, really, like all arguments. If you have a really good semi-automatic shotgun, then you could almost argue that um, it's reliable enough to where you're more likely to have a short shucking issue with a pump than you are to have a malfunction with a really good semi-automatic. You could probably make that argument. They're also a lot more expensive. So that's it. one advantage of the pump. You can get a, a higher quality, more reliable gun for a lot less money. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of a wash in a way, really. I like both. The pumps are nice just because they're simple and they just work for the most part. So much fun to shoot. They just obliterate everything. Well, not everything, but they obliterate things in front of them pretty well. Uh, let's see. Shoot one more round. Let's see if I can just crank them out fast on that uh, coffin target. Uh, sometimes shooting a, a pump shotgun fast, it's almost like a tongue twister. You know, it's like you can keep it going for a little bit, but then you kind of get uh, confused about, it's kind of like you ever been on a computer where you're like deleting a bunch of stuff and you got to hit two keys. You know, you can get them going really fast, really fast, and then you're, it's inevitable, you're gonna screw it up. And then you gotta slow down and you gotta start over. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's fun though. Um, let's see. All right, I'll do it. Got four slugs here. Get that propane tank. Slugs are a very satisfying thing to shoot. Oh, I feel like I should make some kind of joke about don't put salt on them or something like that, but I'll spare that for you guys. Let's see. Shooting some four buck. Okay, I think this is double out buck. Forget what four buck is. Oh, uh, let's see. I wish I had something to shoot where I could see it. I'm gonna shoot the cowboy. Uh, made a smiley face. These things are hot. All right. Guess I've shot that enough. But yeah, these things are fun. Um, you know, for those of you guys that are really into tactical shotguns and stuff like that, those are really cool. But, you know, get you something like this, you know. There's, you know, some of it is uh, the movies that make these things really neat. Because I can just think of so many really cool movies, um, action movies from the golden era of the, you know, the kind of the mid to late 80s to the um, mid 90s, you know, where you see these shotguns being used and by, you know, bad guys or police or whatever. And it's just, I don't know, it's just neat. It kind of harkens back to a different era. And uh, it's just really neat to, to have one in your collection and be able to take it out and play with it some. And uh, yeah, if you don't have one, get one. <laughs> All right. I'll stop rambling. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.